Today we're gonna to be trying two hacks to make keto cinnamon rolls. There's a lot of nostalgia for me with cinnamon rolls. I used to go to the mall and be directly beelining it to Cinnabon to get one of their decadent concoctions. I would get it with extra icing and then pecans on top. I actually would force my husband to order it for me because I was embarrassed. And sometimes he said no, but I would force him to do it anyway. But since 2019, Sarah and I have been on keto and we've lost 160 pounds and we have not had the original Cinnabon for a long time. But we have tried to recreate it before on our channel. We did try a recipe from Victoria's Keto Kitchen, which was really, really good, but it's quite labor intensive. And so I started seeing a trend where people were trying to create the flavor of a cinnamon roll without all the effort. And that is what we're gonna try today in two different ways. So the first recipe that I saw that really spoke to me and inspired this whole video was by Brits Cooking on TikTok, and she uses Hawaiian rolls as her cinnamon rolls. They look super decadent, and this is definitely a time-saving hack. And I thought there is a company that makes low-neck carb Hawaiian rolls, and it's Hero, the sponsor of this video. Sarah and I were introduced to Hero. So many of you guys were telling us to try them. We actually bought their sold-out croissants because they're low-neck carb, and they are delectable. And we actually made a video about it where we tried it in a blind taste test. And they reached out to us to sponsor videos on our channel and support us. These Hero Hawaiian rolls are fluffy, pillowy rolls made with real butter and eggs, and they have just a hint of sweetness and tropical flavor. They have four grams of protein, zero grams of net carbs, zero grams of sugar, and 11 grams of fiber. You can use these as a dinner roll, or you can use these in a wide variety of recipes out there like we're doing today. And these Hero Hawaiian rolls are definitely a fan favorite. They have hundreds of five-star reviews. And since these rolls have sold out twice, they're now moving to everyday availability. And if you guys didn't know, Hero makes amazing products like tortillas, seeded bread, croissants, and so much more. And they're all low net carb. Right now, Hero is offering our community a special discount. You can get 10% off of your purchase of $50 or more, so you can try the Hawaiian rolls and maybe some tortillas or seeded bread. Use our special link linked in the description and code KETOTWINS to get that discount. Because we're gonna be making two different cinnamon roll hacks today and testing them out, the filling and the icing are gonna stay the same for both of them, so we're gonna double up the recipe so we have a lot of the filling and the icing. We're gonna be leaving all this information in the description below, so if you guys wanna check it out, it's gonna be underneath the video, underneath the title, along with the discount codes and everything having to do with us. And if you would like to subscribe, we would really appreciate it. It's free, but it really does support our channel. So the cinnamon filling is just a very simple combination. We've melted about a cup of butter, which is two sticks, in the microwave for about 45 seconds or so. We're gonna pour that into a bowl and then mix in our brown sugar swerve and our cinnamon. I feel like it's a bit thin and runny, but I think that's because the butter is hot. I think as it cools down, it's gonna get nice and thick. Maybe we'll put it in the refrigerator while we work on our Hawaiian rolls. So we're gonna be cutting our Hawaiian rolls in half and then you're gonna be putting the cinnamon mixture with the butter in the center. Look how soft and pillowy those are. Mm. Oh, okay. This, this uh, pan is a bit larger probably, but whatever. It kind of solidified because we put it in the freezer for like five it minutes. Worked. It worked. And this is what I was looking for. We're gonna spread a little bit of this into the center of the Hero wine rolls. And then we're gonna put some on the top. And then we're saving some of this for the second recipe. Remember. I'm really glad they make brown sugar swerve. Yeah. You gotta pick, you know, that's the thing about keto is like you have to pick your sweetener. We uh, typically use allulose when we're baking stuff. Yeah. But not everybody can have allulose. So I gotta find out, it's like a jigsaw puzzle. Weep. All right, we're gonna cover this with some more. Butter. It already smells amazing. These are gonna go in for 15 minutes at 350 degrees. While the cinnamon rolls are cooking, we're gonna put together our frosting, which we're using for both recipes. We have some powdered swerve. We have softened a brick of cream cheese. I'm going to water this down with a little bit of heavy whipping cream mixed with water, like three or four tablespoons. It's like white on white. It's very hard to see. Maybe I should melt it a little bit more. Mm -hmm. 
like congealed. It looks like cottage cheese. Yeah. Phew, that was kind of concerning. To this, we're gonna add in two teaspoons of vanilla. So this is the amount of swerve that I was thinking of putting into this frosting. And now I'm rethinking this. I'm just gonna add in one cup of this and then I'm gonna mix it in and we're gonna try it. A lot of times your taste buds change after you're on keto for a while and you may not like something that's super, super sweet. I like, I don't like a super sweet frosting anyway. I think let's try it after this one cup and then we'll see how it is. Okay. Yeah, it's sweet. Yeah, okay. Also, it's kind of like not fully combined yet. You do want to probably let this sit for a couple of minutes. So all of the swerve, it kind of like dissolves. Mm. Smells delish. We're gonna allow these to cool down a bit before we even worry about our icing. What we are gonna do is start on our second recipe. And I've seen TikToks where people are making cinnamon roll pancakes. This is basically a normal pancake mix, but they are squeezing the brown sugar mixture and swirling it into the pancake and then serving it with icing. And I thought that is a really easy way to make a cinnamon roll taste as well. And we're also gonna be using an ingredient that we have used before to make super fluffy and decadent pancakes. And that is cottage cheese. I know it seems weird, but something about adding cottage cheese to pancakes, it really does take it to the next level. The fluffy cottage cheese pancake recipe that we're gonna be using is coming from heretocook.com. We're gonna be leaving a link to this recipe in the description below. And we're gonna be combining these ingredients in Sarah's Nutribullet, almond flour, vanilla, extract, granulated sweetener, baking powder, eggs, cottage cheese, melted butter, a pinch of salt. Shake it a little bit. Mm. Mm. Why is there gas in there? Weird. From the baking powder? Mm. Maybe. So here we have the other like half of the cinnamon mixture. I heated it up in the microwave and now it's liquidy again. And I think that's gonna be perfect for pouring it into our squeezy bottle. I figured this might be an easier way to get like control over swirling in that mixture into the pancakes. I believe in you. Thank you. Take your time. I am. Medium heat. We're gonna put a little butter here. We're gonna get this pan heated up and we're gonna start cooking our first pancake, which is always a disaster, so. How, how thick are you going? Okay. Oh, darn it! And uh, yes. You know what? You should take a chopstick and like kind of Indent incorporate it. it, incorporate it in there. Yeah, oh, okay. Can you catch it under there? Mm-hmm, looks brown. All right, this is always the part where I'm trying. Take your time. One, two. Both of our cinnamon roll recipes are done. We're going to be dressing it with the icing. We're gonna go downstairs and try them. My house smells like cinnamon. A cinnamon factory. So what are we trying first, the hero? Yeah. Perfect little size too. We made too much frosting too, so if you're gonna make one of these recipes, you probably only need to make a fourth of what I made. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> the outside is like crispy. The inside is nice and gooey. It's almost weird how much it tastes like it. Mm -hmm. Even like with a normal cinnamon roll dough, I don't think that, I think I would choose this. Mm -hmm. 10 times easier mm. too. I can imagine bringing this to like a work event or a buffet or something. Right. These would go and nobody would even know. Right. I, I would not be able to tell, honestly. They're so buttery. Mm. Mm, so good. 100% try this recipe. We are what we like to call technically keto. We like to incorporate things like this. We love to feel like we could partake in trends and not feel left out on a keto. We have to split those up to make home, you know? <laughs> This was easy to make too. It's just that we make everything more difficult mm -hmm. because instead of doing one recipe, we wanted to try multiple yeah. cinnamon roll hacks. And so this plus this, it's still probably really easy to do, but then filming it, it's four hours later. So mm -hmm. three hours later. Can we see the texture of said pancake? Okay. Uh oh, I've lost the bottom. Hmm, very fluffy. 
Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Now this is really good too. Mm. <laughs> There's something about that cottage cheese in there. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think these look like legit pancakes. Right. I can't even tell the difference. You know, when I first started keto, I would just make pancakes, quote unquote, with eggs and cream cheese. Right. And they just missed that like fluffy texture in the middle. But these actually have that. And you know, not that many ingredients right. as well. So And they're super fluffy. It does, it's like a cake. Mm -hmm. It's a pancake. Mm. These are both amazing recipes. I'm so happy we got to try them. I don't know, is the effort of making cinnamon rolls even worth it if that's a good hack? Yeah. Well, I mean, and then when you make cinnamon rolls, it's usually like a busy day, like right. on a holiday or a Christmas morning or a Sunday morning or something. You can make that in like 10 minutes. Yeah. We love hacks here on our channel. Mm -hmm. So anything to make our lives a little simpler, you know what I mean? So if you guys are ready to grab some of these Hawaiian rolls from Hero, they do freeze beautifully mm -hmm. and so you can keep them for like four months in your freezer. You can use our special link linked in the description and code Keto Twins, and you're going to get 10% off your purchase of $50 or more. And cottage cheese really did change the texture of these pancakes, and we have been adding cottage cheese into almost everything lately. <laughs> if you guys want to see us make a flatbread out of cottage cheese, you can click right here and we will see you over there. Anyway, I'm Emily. And I'm Sarah. And, and we, we are the Keto, Keto Twins, signing, signing out. out. Don't. You want them all? Go ahead, lick that. <laughs> <No>. <laughs>